Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this cute little penguin favor. He's fun to give and easy to make with items you already have at home. We'll start by making the box for the treat holder. This cardstock is cut to three inches by six and a quarter inches, and I'm scoring at one and a half inches, three inches, four and a half, and six inches along the long side, and then at one and a half inches down the center from the short side. That gives me the sides of a one and a half inch cube with a little tab to glue at the end. I'm going to cut up from the bottom on each of those score lines up to where the lines cross. And on the last section, I'm just going to cut the flap away below the score line and leave myself a tab to glue in. Go ahead and fold on all of the score lines to give them all a good crease. I like to use this side of my stylus to do that, but you can use your thumbnail or a bone folder or whatever tool you have that works for you. To create the shape of the box, those bottom tabs are just going to fold in one on top of each other to create the base of the box. And you can use your favorite adhesive in between each layer to keep those all together. I like using tacky glue because it gives me a little time to adjust if I'm a little off at first, but you can use whatever you have that works for you. When you get to this small tab, you can glue that on the inside or the outside of the box, it doesn't matter. We're going to cover up two sides of the box with our penguin tags, so if you want to stick the tab on the outside of the box, you can cover it up later and it won't be seen. To create the penguins, I use dies for all the little parts. You can visit the photo tutorial to see how you could use punches if they're what you use the most. I have two nesting tag dies with a rounded top, and these ones are from Sizzix. The larger one is about one and a half inches, so it's just perfect for a little box. And you'll need two of the black ones. For the beak, I have this border die that cuts lots of squares. For the little earmuffs, I had an oval die, but it was a little bit too large, so instead I used an alphabet border die and cut out two O's, and I'll just use the inside of the cut for the earmuffs. Because I used paper scraps, I was able to cut out all my pieces in a single run through my die cutting machine, and this is what I ended up with. The photo tutorial features the Stampin' Up! note tag punch, so if you happen to be working with that punch or a similar die cut tag, you'll punch out two tags from black cardstock and one from white, and then cut the shoulders off the white one to create the front layer like is shown in this photo here. To assemble the penguin, you will adhere the white tag onto the black one. If you're working with a note tag punch, you'll just position the white one that you cut about a quarter of an inch down from the top of the black one and then trim it off at the bottom. You'll want to create a fold line in the little beak square. I just use my stylus to make a line there. I'm sure there are other ways to do that as well. You'll adhere the earmuffs on either side of the penguin's face area, and after you do that, please go do a Google search for penguins in sweaters, because that is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. The beak will go in the center, and you'll want your glue to just mainly be in the center of the beak on that fold line that you made, so that you have some dimension from the fold. And then you'll need some googly eyes to complete his little face. If you have chalks, you could add some little rosy cheeks. That would be cute, too. I gave my little penguin a scarf using some decorative trim. Ribbon would be great too. And that's tied around the back and I just used a simple single knot, then glued it so it would stay down. In the photo tutorial, she uses candy dots for buttons down the penguin's little front, but I don't have those. So I just used some adhesive pearls and colored them black with an alcohol marker. This is a really great way to customize your embellishments to your projects, just buy white pearls and color them to match. The last step is putting the treat holder together. The plain black tag goes on one side of the box and the penguin goes on the other side. When you glue your panels on, make sure that you cover up your little box tab if you've glued it to the outside. And also be sure to add some extra glue to hold in the ribbon on the back side of your penguin. There's some extra thickness there. Tuck a little treat inside and you have a cute little holiday favor. Here's my finished box and the sample from our tutorial author. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.